Hi, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. Um, this is just a little video to introduce myself. So hi, um, my name is Sarah Chamberlain. I, you can call me Sarah, that's fine. You can call me uh, Professor Chamberlain, you can call me Miss Chamberlain. Um, you'll notice that a lot of my documents say Sarah Cotton. I have recently had a change in marital status. Um, so that, it's still me, <laughs> right? But, um, and I'm still trying to get used to um, being uh, Professor Chamberlain, it's kind of it's kind of weird, but I like it. Anyway, um, so there we go. Okay, so um, so that's who I am, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Just you know, just so you know who you're dealing with this summer. Okay, um, I'm local, sort of. Um, I grew up all over the country. I was born in upstate New York, right around there. I lived in Pennsylvania for a little while. I lived in Colorado for a little while. Um, and then I moved here when I was in um, intermediate school and middle school. Um, so I've been in Southern California in, in this local area forever. Um, after high school, I went to Chafee. I was a, a student. There's so many good reasons to go to a community college. Um, mine was that I, I was just not, I was not done cooking. Right, I was I wasn't ready for prime time. I wasn't uh, I wasn't academically mature enough to just go away to school yet. Right, um, I was still really more focused on like fun and and not you know that kind of thing. Um, so I went to Chafee and I had an amazing experience. I was here for a couple of years. Um, here I included a couple of pictures of myself at, at the time I was going to Chafee so that you could you know this, this was me when I was your age. Uh, <laughs> So um, this one's a picture of me and my sister. I'm getting her, I'm helping her get ready for her high school graduation. And I'm holding a crow in my mom's house, which tells you something. This is a, you know, foreshadowing for, for future images. Um, and this is me on a field trip at a very cool place um, called Corn Springs. It's a field trip my, I think it was my last year at Chafee. Um, this place in the desert called Corn Springs, which is this beautiful oasis um, that, also has petroglyphs. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm standing in front of some petroglyphs and anyway. Okay. So I know Ch the punchline is I know Chafee. I know what it's like to be a student at Chafee. I've been associated with Chafee for a very long time. So if you have Chafee questions, you know who to ask. Okay. Um, after Chafee, I was ready to get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> and so um, I moved to Santa Barbara and I went to UC Santa Barbara to finish up my bachelor's degree. There's a picture of me with my roommates in our apartment. Um, and then um, I moved back to this local area for graduate school and I completed my master's degree at Cal Poly Pomona. So also I, I know a little thing or two about going to both Cal States and UCs, and I know a thing or two about transferring as well. So, you know, I'm sharing this stuff with you, partly just so you know who I am, but also so you know how I can be helpful to you, right? So I know a little bit about these places. I know a little bit about the process of transferring and the details have changed, but the like fundamentals of like, what's it like to transfer to, you know, a university, that kind of stuff, I can, I can tell you from personal experience. Um, so the second picture of me looking very frumpy and, and disappointed is um, doing some field work. Um, I am an ecologist based on my you know, research experiences. Um, and so I was outside and it was sunny and I was not happy. And so I was, I was trying to cover my head anyway. Um, had great experiences in college. And then as I was wrapping up graduate school, I thought, gosh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I had a couple other things I wanted to do when I grow up you know, for a while, but ultimately what it came down to is why can't I be a college student forever? This is fun. Now that I know what I'm doing, I like it. Um, and I figured out there is a way and the way to be a college student forever is to become a college professor, right? You're just like the student who's in charge of the class and, uh, you know, has a little more experience than everybody else. That's all, right? So anyway, um, some other things. Ooh, I went too far. Some other things about me. I have two adorable kids. Um, I just, I have to show pictures of them because they're, look at, look at those cheeks, man. She has cheeks for days. Um, so my son is now 10 and this is a picture of him at Disneyland looking all 
I don't know, grown up in his aviators there, goofball. Um, this is him a couple years ago. And then this is my daughter also a couple years ago. And this is her now she's seven. Um, and we went to a movie. So anyway, those are my, those are my human babies. Um, and they constantly interrupt videos. So you will notice, especially if you're watching videos that I recorded previously, there are a lot of interruptions from children um, because during the pandemic, they were here all the time and they were younger. And even at this age, they still, they just like, you know, they're in my face all the time. So you will probably meet them at some point or another if you come to a Zoom session, because especially my daughter is always bothering me. Um, so yeah, so that's, so that's them. Um, I also have uh, some fur babies. Um, so <laughs> this is a picture of them together when they were puppies. Um, my dogs are COVID dogs. They came to, they were born in the winter of like 2019 and they came to live with us in January of 2020. And then, um, COVID happened in March of 2020. So they're a little quirky. They don't have good social skills because they they're quarantine babies. Um, but, but they're sisters and they're wonderful and they're adorable. This is uh, Luna and this one's Raven. Raven loves to sit in the pool. So she's super excited that, um, you know, the weather's nice and warm and she can, she can jump in and enjoy, enjoy the pool this summer. Um, these are my kitties. Um, they're also brothers. I, evidently I have a thing for getting siblings, right. For pets. Um, <laughs> So their names are Mario and Luigi because we are uh, video game fans in this house, particularly Nintendo games. Um, and so um, they are, how old are they? Gosh, they're like about four, I think. I don't know. Um, anyway, they're wonderful. They're, they're sweet kitties. They're not very sociable though. You probably won't ever see them in videos. You might hear the dogs bark, but you probably won't see much of them. It's hard to know. Okay. Um, so those are my fur babies. And then I also have a lot of not so furry babies. Um, <laughs> here's a picture of Ellie with one, with my bearded dragon. Um, his name is Charlie and he's a big, handsome boy. Um, and this was when we first um, adopted him and Ellie was absolutely enchanted with him. He loves blueberries, by the way, that's in front of him. He's, that's a little blueberry. Um, I also have a couple of crested geckos. I only have one pictured um, and he is named Yeti. I did not name him. I don't think he has big feet. I don't know. I don't know why that name was chosen, but there he is. Um, so Yeti is the one that's um, in the picture here. And then I have another one who is kind of yellowish colored and we named her Liz Lemon. Um, and this is the only axolotl that lives at my house. Um, this, her name is Salt. Uh, once upon a time, her sister Pepper lived with us too, but Salt is a bully. And so Pepper um, couldn't hang with, with Salt because Salt is a meanie. So Pepper um, went back to the lab where my office is located um, to live a life of peace. <laughs> where she wouldn't get bullied by her sister. Um, other animal situation, um, because some of you are really into this. Um, I teach primarily in the zoology lab um, and that's where my office is located on campus, on the Rancho campus. Um, and so one of the cool features of the zoology lab is we have an animal room attached to the, to the lab where we have uh, some live animals that we use for all kinds of different educational reasons. Um, so we have another bearded dragon named Sunny. We have a hedgehog. We have a fire-bellied newt. We have a bunch more axolotls. Um, we have some ball pythons. We have a milk snake. We have a beautiful pink toe tarantula. I'm probably forgetting somebody, but anywho. So if you're into animals, um, you should come visit me sometime during the regular semester um, and come come see the come see the critters in the lab. Um, my I, I discovered, like I said earlier, um, I discovered that like learning with people really makes me happy. It just it's such a joyful thing for me, um, and I feel so incredibly fortunate to be a teacher and get to. Um, explore topics with students for a living, right? They pay me to do this and it's amazing. Um, and so here's some kind of recent um, beautiful pictures of fun things. So um, this is a group of former students that are giving a presentation talking about um, owl skulls 
at a burrowing owl event on the Chino campus a few years ago. Um, this is a great field trip um, <laughs> where I told my students, we were walking through this meadow and I told my students, hey, I'm gonna take a picture, try to look like biologists. And that's what they came up with. And I think it's hilarious. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is the lab where I teach. Um, this is just a gorgeous shot of um, the big open fields at our Chino campus where um, we have a colony of burrowing owls. Um, burrowing owls are, I'll talk more about them later, but they're really, really cute and really, really interesting little animals. They're owls that, as you may guess based on their name, live in burrows. And so they're small and they're just, they're, you know, they're like this big, right? And they're, they're super adorable. Um, and they're a species of special concern, which means they're not quite in, listed as endangered, though they probably should be. Um, but they are losing habitat at a very rapid rate because the places that they like to live are the exact same places where we like to build houses and, and you know, malls and things, not malls, but like strip malls and housing and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So anyway. Um, this is a field trip at a, um, a, a field trip for another class where we went and visited some tide pools um, and looked at all the critters there. And then this last one is me um, at the Chafee Preserve on campus, right? Looking at some, what I was actually looking at is a spider. Um, you can't tell from the picture, but there it is, okay? Um, so I, anyway, I just love it. I just love it. You can tell all the fun things I do and, and um, the, all the good times we have. I just love teaching. Um, and hobbies. Um, I, I love to go camping. Haven't done it as much lately as I would like. There's my son. Um, we were visiting um, the Redwoods and we just got to camp and got out of the car and we're, you know, just like taking a couple minutes to just sit and enjoy the the beautiful mountain air before we um, unpacked and got set up and my son starts walking around in flip-flops and I was like dude you <laughs> he's definitely his mother's child for sure um, walking around in flip-flops in the in the forest crazy kid anyway um, other things I'm into so um, yeah that's right I'm totally into Star Trek total Trekkie um, I I I feel no shame either I'm proud of how much I love Star Trek my favorite thing but I really I like all kinds of sci-fi um I like Star Wars too I know people are like you can only like one but whatever um really like Star Wars too and I like all kinds of other sci-fi too I just I really it's like probably my favorite you know genre of movies I would think um and tv shows and you know whatever um I'm a Hufflepuff in case you're wondering that's why my little badger is right here right um and then I included a picture of one of my peach trees. Um, I have a lot of fruit trees. And so you'll probably hear me this summer complaining about having too much fruit to deal with um, at my house. Uh, I do make a lot of jam and jelly sometimes, depending on the season. Um, and mostly I'm just like, I need to like find somebody to eat all of this fruit because, you know, too many. Um, so the peaches are coming along. They're not ripe yet, but they're getting there. Okay. Um, and then this little guy, <laughs> Um, I, I spent a lot of time outdoors in the summer. So a lot of times when we zoom, I'll be sitting out on my back patio, um, because I just, you know, it's so great being outside. Um, and this, I love this little picture because, um, that beetle. So first of all, it is a male. And I, the reason I know that he's male is because his antennae are so big and kind of feathery. Um, and the males of this species, it's, he's called a 10 line beetle or some people call them watermelon beetles. Um, the reason that their antennae are so big and feathery like that is that they use those to detect pheromones, which are chemicals produced by the females. And in the summer, that's when all the, all the beetles mate. Um, and so he was cruising around at night, probably trying to find a lady beetle. Um, and he ended up sitting on an exam that I was grading. And, um, you know, we hung out for a minute it was good times. Um, and then, and then he went on his way, but, um, yeah, I like bugs too. I really like bugs. I like everything that's alive, but, but, you know, bugs are no exception to that. Um, that's it. That's all you need to know about me. So I'm looking forward to learning about you all as you introduce yourselves, um, and in your little introduction videos, and I'm looking forward to a great summer. 
All right. Have a good one.